All right, guys. Here we're going to ask if ratios form a proportion. So this is the ratios and proportions section. And so the idea of ratios and proportions, let me just draw you a picture. So suppose you have a bar of chocolate and you have three pieces of chocolate. The bottom is how many pieces you have and the top might be how many pieces you eat. But we never change the chocolate bar, we just change how much we break it up. So if this is a nine, we still have the same size chocolate bar, but we just break it up into nine pieces. This should be equal size pieces. And now if I eat four of these pieces, right, I will, I will get one, two, three, four. So four little pieces here doesn't seem like it's the same as two big pieces. And that's why they're not in proportion, right? They're, they're different amounts of chocolate. So what's a way of doing this, right? Well, there's a simple trick you can do, which is two over three. Um, you wanna know, does it equal four over nine? And once we know this trick, it'll be really fast. And one way, that, you know, there are a lot of ways you can do it. I think one way that's really fun is to just say, that's the same thing as if I multiplied by nine and divided by four and asked if I got one. Okay, I know that's a lot of words. Here's what I'm getting at. You just do two thirds times, not four ninths, times nine fourths and you see if you get one. So here I get three over two, which is not one. So no, they are not in proportion. Let me apply the trick a little bit more clearly here, right? So you take three fourths, you could take either one for your starting. And then you flip this thing And you see, okay, what happens? I get a three here, I get a two here. Are they in proportion? No, that's not one. That better be one. Another way of seeing is that you have to multiply three by two to get six, but you have to multiply four by three to get 12. These, those have to be the same number for, this, for these to be in proportion. So that's another way you could see it. So the answer is no either way. Okay, how about this? Wow, none of these are in proportion. One half times four thirds. It's starting to get a little bit, I don't know, it's a little depressing. I wanna see something that's in proportion. Two over three. That's not one. So the answer is no. Okay, how about this? Oh, um, again, they're leaving us hanging. 1 over 3, the algorithm, they're not, it's just a computer picking which are these problems to give us. 1 over 3 divided by 6 over 3. So that's going to be 2 over 3, which does not equal 1, so no. Finally, 2 over 4 times... 12 over 6. Okay, let's see what happens here. We get 3. We get 3. Hooray! These fractions are the same. Right, you can multiply this by 3. You can multiply this by 3. And you get the same thing. So, yes. Another way to think about proportions is if you drew the triangles and you drew two sides, like two and three, and you drew whatever the other ones, they'd be similar triangles. So they have the same, yeah, they have the same side length ratios. So over here, what if we did that, right? What if we used our trick and we did two over three times nine over six? So that's three. That's three, that gives us one. Okay, so they're in proportion. 
So how can we visualize that with the triangle? We've done the chocolate bar thing. Let's do the triangle. So if we take two and we take one, two, three, we get a triangle. Now instead, uh, I'm going to run out of space. Okay, give me, give, I'll do a little bit. Okay, so one. Okay, so this is two. This is three. Now we want six. Four, five, six. And we want nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you see that these triangles are the same? They're similar triangles, and you'll soon learn about that. But they're the same, you know, they have the same pattern. So, yes. Okay, how about this? One over three times nine over three. This gives me a three and a three and a one. So, yes. Also, one times three is three, three times three is nine. So, yes. How about one half and three sixths? So, one half times six over three. See, we're ending with so many nice ones. Three over three is one. So, yes. And how about two thirds and four sixths? Okay, let's do this another way. Times two. Two times two is four. Three times two is six. So, yes, they are in proportion. How about this? One times two is two. Two times three is six. That's bad. So they're not in proportion. All right. Practice your proportions, and I'll see you next time.